Hello, welcome to Weekly Prayer on the 31st of August. I'm excited to be back from Greenbelt, having had a time of spiritual and physical refreshment, although walking some of the distances was perhaps not always so refreshing, but it was good for me. Today we have a psalm to look at, um, Psalm 115, and I'm just going to pray now and then we'll get into it. Lord, thank you for being with us. May we sense your presence. May we know your presence. Be with us, O Lord, we pray. Amen. Excuse me as I look to the side to read. Not us, Lord, not us, but to your name give the glory. For the sake of your loving mercy. Why should the nation say, where now is their God? As for our God, he is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses have they but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, feet but they cannot walk. Nor, not a whisper do they make from their throats. Those who make them shall become like them, and so will all who put their trust in them. But you, Israel, put your trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. You that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. The Lord has been mindful of us, and he will bless us. May he bless the house of Israel. May he bless the house of Aaron. May he bless those who fear the Lord. May the Lord increase you more and more and your children after you. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens are the heavens of the Lord, but the earth he has entrusted to his children. The dead do not praise their Lord, nor those gone down into silence. But he will bless the Lord this time forth and forevermore. Sorry, we will bless the Lord. So Psalm 115. It starts off by saying, the glory can't be ours. Anything good that happens is not down to us, but down to God. And the truth of life is, so often we intend to do things so well, and they go wrong. But when God does them, that's a different matter. And then he goes on to say to the psalmist that there's all sorts of other types of gods that have mouths but cannot speak, nose yet don't smell, ears but don't hear. It's a, it's a description of utter wretchedness, isn't it? Something that you can worship, but actually has no response. And then there's those final paragraphs talking about the dead. What was that all about? Well, that quite simply was saying... That, you know, you can't talk to the dead and they're not going to give you guidance because they're, they're wherever the dead are, but they're not here. And they can't help us. And I think that's quite helpful. Seances are as popular today as ever they were. But to be honest, it's not the dead speaking. So what what then is it that people of faith, the Hebrew faith in this case, or Christians today have, that that is different to what the rest of the world has. Well, I think we can honestly say that that is God within us. God who speaks to us in our inner beings, but not just speaks to us, but makes things work out. I cannot tell you how very many times I have heard people say, I was really worried about this and I prayed and something happened, something changed and it went well. The temptation, of course, is to say it would have just gone well anyway. Well, that can never be proven, nor can our claim that it was God. But we can often know that it was God because we know our past performance. And so often, when I've been worried about things and I've prayed about them, and when I've got there, what I thought might happen in prayer has happened. 
or somebody somewhere along the line has done something and they said they don't know why they do it they just had an inner feeling that they should do it and it's made everything work out for myself or for those around me and i think that's the leading of god when somebody suddenly feels that they need to do something that something should be done and it helps out i think we underestimate how much god works in our lives so the challenge I'm going to set for this week, for myself and for you, is look for the ways in which God works and then count your blessings. As in the old Sunday school song, count your blessings, name them one by one. Try doing it. It does help. Now let's pray. Lord, so often we don't know what to say for the best. We don't know what to do. And yet when we call upon your name and ask for help, there you are, and you help us. Be our help this week. May we know your presence and feel you with us. Don't be a dumb idol, Lord. Be an active God in our hearts. And we thank you for all the many times that you have t spoken to us and done things with us. May we know your guiding hand and actually realise that it is you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you and keep you. I hope to see you on Sunday or at some other service. God bless you.